bruises and mistakes, I acid etch my work and acid etch the metal to bring it on the point of vanishing when it's almost become so delicate and fragile as it feels it's gonna vanish. And um, what acid are you using for this? Um, sulfur acid and nitric acid, but I use quite high contents, uh, more than I should have again, <laughs> just to get the immediate impact on the metal and not to have to wait for too long and, and be able to control the etching. What is is that it encourages that debate and discussion about what makes an artwork a piece of art and science, what removes it from being simply an illustrative artwork of science. Um, it's kind of promoting that debate and discussion. And whereas the artists here are primarily artists who work with scientists to develop um, develop science with an official way, we can still raise that debate and discussion. Cells which then go on to form every part of the body. These are the embryonic stem cells. These stem cells are the master templates which have the potential to become any type of cell in the body. So understandably, scientists around the world are pretty interested in them. Embryonic stem cells. Uh, well, look at us, don't we look grand? Uh, it seems tonight we're partying like it's 1899. So my name is Dr Hannah Critchlow and I'm with the Naked Scientists and I've been at the Wonder Street Fair which has been organised by the Wellcome Trust and the BNA and it's been brilliant. We've been inundated with hundreds and hundreds of people throughout the last three days of all different ages with different questions and different interests. And one final question, we're asking scientists um, as it's the Festival of Neuroscience, what does the brain mean to you? Well, to me the brain is my life. It's my reason for being here, it's obviously my reason for doing research. Uh, it's the basis of everything I do and it's, uh, it's as, I, oh, as I've said already, it's a, always a, a source of total wonder. Things in the environment that creep up on them and make them crave and push them towards relapse. So intertwined are the associations in the brain between the external and the internal that they can even affect how the body reacts to a drug heroin addicts who are used to taking their drug in a particular place and then take their drug in a, in a, in a different environment are much more likely to overdose. Dr Sanjeev Kamboj is a lecturer in clinical psychology at University College London. And that's through this process of learning because in their normal environment